In this video, we're going to look at how to save a document using different file types and what that actually means. In the last video, we looked at generally saving. Once you've got a document on the screen and you want to save it, we can tell whether or not it's been saved because of the title bar. If that's got the name of the document, then you know it's been saved. And if you just want to make some alterations and update the original document, you can click on save. That updates the original document. If you want to create a brand new document, you can click File, Save As, and choose a new name and location for your document, version 2. What that does, it creates a Microsoft Word document which normally has .doc at the end, but when you're creating the file name, you don't do that. You just have it as a name, and the computer adds a .doc because this says save as type Word document. You then click on Save. Sometimes, however, you need to save the document in a different file type. That means that you could save the document in a file type that other types of software, other types of applications can open. For example, you might be wanting to send this document to a friend in Australia, perhaps via email. They might not have Microsoft Word 2003. Therefore, when they receive that document, they will not be able to open it. But we have some workarounds. What we can do is save the document using a different file type. So we click File and Save As because we're creating a new document. We choose where we want to save the document. So where it says Save In, that's the location. It can be on the desktop, in My Documents, in any of these folders, you choose where you want to save your document. I'm going to leave mine on the desktop to keep it nice and simple for us. So always look at that, save in desktop. We then make sure our document has got a sensible name. The file name, what do we want this document to be called? And then finally, we save the document as a type. Now we know the default is a Word document, but if we use this drop down arrow, we can see what other types of document we can create. Just move that up a little bit so you can see. We could save this document, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, as a web page, for example. We could save it as a template. That allows you to create your own templates. You could save it as plain text. Plain text just has text in the document. It won't have any formatting, no pictures, no tables, just plain text. The most useful one though, especially given the scenario that I talked about, where you are sending this document to somebody else who doesn't have Microsoft Word, but they do have a word processing software of a different type. Well, you can save the document as a rich text format, RTF. The rich text format will save the document. It will maintain most of the formatting, not all, most of the formatting. It decides which formatting is most common in all the different types of word processes so that if you've got a different word processing software it's very likely that it will be able to open a rich text format document and then you save in the normal way so you can save your document in lots of different methods not methods file types file save as and you choose the type of document you want to create at the bottom.
you might be working in Office 2003, but you know that your colleague only has Office or Work 6 or Microsoft Office 2007, you can save the document in those formats so that they can open the document. As a recap, there are three golden rules when you are saving. File, save as. Rule one, check where you are saving it. You decide where you want to put that document. Rule two, what is the name of the document? Make it sensible so that you'll remember what this document is at a later date. Rule three, what kind of document are you actually creating? Usually it will be the default Word document, but check, make sure. So that's your three golden rules, and just as a little added extra to that, if you decide to create a template, a document template, you see the saving box changes to templates. We'll talk more about that in a later video, but just be aware that if you save a type as a template, it goes to the templates folder. So sometimes you need to revisit rule one and choose a new location for that document.